Hey, what's going on? Welcome to Pick a Fight. My name is Joe. Listen, today we're going to be talking about how to go all in. Have you ever wanted to be all in on your workout, your you know Bible reading with your spouse, with your friends, you're all in, but you get distracted and pulled every other way? Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to go all in and be focused so you know what the win is in your life. If that sounds like something you uh, wanna learn in, stay tuned, we're gonna jump into it. Also, if this is your first time with me, go ahead, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know that every time we post something new or every time I post something new, you're gonna grow, you're gonna be inspired, and that we are or that I'm going to invest in you. I use the word we a lot. Me and my wife, we do a podcast, The Married Life, and we're always talking about we. Anyways, welcome to Pick a Fight. All right, so today I was having breakfast with my son, Ellis. He's eight months old, so I was feeding him. And I heard... Um, this this verb all in this verb this this phrase all in and i was just thinking man so many times we want to be all in but how do we actually go all in how do i go all in spending time with my family dating my wife with my devotional time um at my work uh with my creativity um with my health right with my finances like when you start adding everything up it can get overwhelming it's like i can't go all in on everything but you can go all in on something at some time. Listen to this, this is what I got this morning. I'm gonna make this really quick, super short video today. I say that every time and then it ends up going long, but bear with me, here we go. Here's how to go all in. Be all in on one thing at one time. How simple is that? When you are spending time with your son at breakfast, be all in. Don't be thinking about work. Man, I'm so guilty of that. I think about ministry because that's my job. I, I just, I, and I love ministering. Like I'm holding my Bible right now. Like I love doing this. Like, but, right? So this is my job. But then when I'm spending time with the Lord, guess what happens? My mind is somewhere else. I'm not all in even here. I'm all in thinking about the bills. I'm all in thinking about my day, my schedule, all the different things. So be all in with your spouse when you're on a date. Be all in uh, with your finances. That's hard too, right? Like what are you investing and what are you saving for? Anyway, so let me show you how to do this, okay? Ready? Super simple. Today, make a list of everything you wanna accomplish, okay? I, I learned this from somebody else and I'm applying it. It's winning the day, okay? Winning the day. Write down five things that today, if you do them, you win. If you do these five things today, you win. So can I just tell you mine real quick? Mine is our, and that might miss one, I have them written down. Uh, number one, my Bible time. So I've done that, boom check uh inviting someone to church i haven't done that yet and i have a card i don't have one in my pocket right now um i always invite someone to church every day like that's my goal every single day for 365 days like that's my goal um the next one today was making a leadership video here we go uh, another one was actually making a video for our dream team i did that and then another one was oh what else was it i don't remember working out i did that so I only have, I did two, or sorry, I did uh, three out of my five. I have two left, okay? No, I have one left after this. I just, I need to invite someone to church. That's my, and, and I win the day. So when I'm in, what I do, because I have that list, I know that, okay, when, when I'm all in with God, man, I wanna be focused because if I do this, I'm gonna win the day. So God, I already have my list of other things I need to do. You're number one right now. So what are you gonna speak to me? And look, look at this, this is what I read today. Jesus ministered from place to pray, place, preaching the hope of the kingdom realm. He went place to place. And when he was in a place, he was in that place. I was like, oh, that fits perfectly with this. When you're in a place, be in that place. When you're in a place, be present. Because your presence is so much greater than the present you might be trying to get to somebody. So many times we want to get somebody a gift, we want to get someone this or that, but man, I'm telling you what, when it comes to just you focusing on God, you focusing on your work, that's the greatest gift your boss wants is you focusing on your work, right? You focusing on your spouse, you focusing on your kids, you being in the gym and saying, hey, this is a win if I go to the gym today. So when I'm here, I'm here. I'm gonna be all in. And here's the thing, when you're gonna to go to the gym, write out a list of what you're gonna work out. Today, I did legs. So I knew I was gonna squat, um, I was gonna do calves, I got baby calves. Um, I was going to do leg extensions, um, uh, hack squats, and what else did I do? Um, leg press and leg extensions, I already say that. Anyways, I had a list of what I was gonna do. Same thing, I know I'm going through Matthew right now. I have a list of what I'm going to do. When Chrissy and I go on dates, guess what? I have a list of questions I wanna ask her. Does that sound weird? It is weird because most people don't do it. So you know what happens? They go to dinner with their spouse and they're on their phone. Can we just be real? That's what most people do. 
Chrissy and I, we do it. I mean, I'm not trying to be judgmental. I just listen to a podcast today talking about not being judgmental. Here, I'm about to judge people. When we go to dinner, we look at the couples that are sitting with each other and they're on their phones. Why? Why even go out with her? Why even go out with him? Live a purposeful life. You, you only have one life to live. You only have one life to live. Be purposeful with your time. When I'm with my kids, you know what I started doing? So I did 75 hard, just finished. Um, did, I, it was awesome. You know, it was hard, but it was worth it. I started going for runs and walks with my son, my eight month old, and now I started going on bike rides with him. I got like this trailer thing I pull him with. Like when I say trailer, it's not a trailer, it's a little, I don't know what it is. I pull him. And then my, uh, my four year old, also Vivi. And what I try to do, one of my things, one of my things to win the day is spend five uninterrupted minutes with my children talking with them. So when I drive them to school, I'm not on my phone. I'm focused on them. I'm talking to them about scripture. I'm talking about them about spelling words. I'm talking to them. What they love the most is me telling them stories and making up stories. They love that. And here's the thing. You ready for this? When my kids get older, they're going to remember the stories dad used to make up on the drive to school other than that Barbie I bought her, other than that power wheel I bought her, other than that soccer ball that I bought them. Like, you know, do you understand what I'm saying? I'm being in the moment. I'm making a decision. You, it's, it's on you, dude. It's on you. You get to make the decision if you're going to be present. You get to make the decision if I'm going to be all in on this conversation. I get to make the decision if I'm going to be all in on the Bible. Listen, some of you are like, well, I get distracted when I'm reading the Bible. Have a notebook and as stuff comes up, just write it down so you can stay Focus on this. When you go out on a date, don't bring your phone. Bring a list of questions you want to ask your spouse. Why? Because the average person does not do that. And guess what? The average person is going to get divorced. That's it. Like, like we are trying to not be average. We are trying to pick a fight and win that fight. That's the goal. I want to win. And I know you do too. So how are you going to win the day? What I want you to do is write out five things. Okay. That if you do these, you're going to win the day. You're gonna be all in on these things when you do it. If it's at the gym, all in. If it's with your kids, all in. If it's with your spouse, all in. If it's with your finances, stop spending stupid money on you know, going out to eat. You know how fast that racks up a bill? Don't go out to eat, go shopping, have food in your fridge, so then you can get uh, start saving up money and start investing money. Be all in. That's the, But you have to make the decision. I can't make it for you. You got, I, when I just did 75 hard, I'm gonna wrap up with this. When I just did 75 hard, I was all in. I remember one time that uh, somebody was telling me it was a holiday or whatever. I'm like, oh, you can have this, you can have that. I'm like, nope, I'm all in. It's not your choice, it's my choice. I'm all in, I'm not gonna fail this. Are you all in and ready to not fail today? It's your choice, it's your decision. You win the day. Hey, listen, if this video inspired you, click that subscribe button, um, notification bell. I hope you liked it. Uh, and again, I'm going to be back here hopefully next week. I tried doing these a lot more and then stuff got crazy with my life. So hope this ministered to you. Listen, we are going to pick a fight and we're going to win at life. How do you win at life? By winning the day. Win today so you can win tomorrow, win the week, win the month, win the year. Welcome to Pick a Fight. My name is Joe. See you here next time.